Yeah, your boy Chili here, back at you with another update on the uh, on the liquid dispenser servo control unit project. That's what we're calling it. So, today I want to talk a little bit about the wetware side, the wet work here. Because, um, like you might think, oh, this project, you know, a lot of... Uh, a lot of circuitry involved, a lot of embedded programming. That's probably going to be the hard stuff. But no, that stuff, that stuff is easy for your boy Chili. The hard stuff is getting the actual physical parts, uh, you know, to acquire them and to assemble them. So the first thing, the first problem that I had to address was, well, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be feeding the water into the tank. I need a way of controlling the flow. So I looked up like a solenoid valve. And uh, I ended up on this bad boy, but uh, it was a little bit of a journey to come up with this guy. Because, first of all, uh, this guy is super heavy and sucks a lot of juice. And I don't really need, like, this is overkill for what I'm doing. So why did I pick it? Well, uh, like on DigiKey, looking at the, the product, products available, there were, uh, there were solenoid valves that were much cheaper, much lighter, much less power requirements but they had one downside and that is that there was a minimum pressure that was required from the source so this is apparently a thing but um, for it to get a proper seal it needs a minimum pressure like uh, pipe pressure pressure that you would get in your plumbing coming out of your water tap for example and we don't have that this is a gravity feed system it's just coming out of this reservoir here the reservoir is only elevated maybe maybe three two or three feet above where the water is going to be fed into so you're not going to get a lot of pressure so that means that the cheap units they weren't gonna they weren't gonna do it i would i didn't want to risk it basically so i got this bad boy he's like i don't know maybe like 20 bucks he's heavy he sucks he he suck s-u-c-c -C, a lot of uh, a lot of amps a lot of cool ohms per second but uh, it's what we had to go with. So, we choose this unit. By the way, I had another option which was put a submersible pump into here. Uh, or maybe like a peristaltic pump. And I looked at that, but then I'm like, well, then I've got to detect the level in here. if it, Because if the pump runs dry, that's probably not a good idea. And I, I, I kind of had my heart set on a valve. You know, I'm just, I, I, I felt like a valve. So, I went with this one. So, we got this. It's got half inch thread on it. So now how do we get the half inch thread to here? This thing and lots of other, you know, reservoirs, jugs that I found online, uh, they often had like a small outlet like this. And this one actually has a, has a cock. Yeah, it's called a cock. I'm not, I'm not being weird about it. Let me just open this up here. Yeah, in here. So you would screw this onto here and then you would, you would twist the cock uh, and uh, the fluid would come out, you know, just like as it does. So, I'm thinking, yeah, I want to hook this up to here. Maybe I can get, like, some kind of, um, adapter. But the thing is that this is not, a, like, for any of the jugs I looked at, these weren't standard threads. You're not going to find a, an adapter easily for one of these things. So I'm like, well, how the heck am I going to freaking hook this up this and I mean I could find like a plastic piece but I don't have a plastic welding kit to weld that on I'm like how am I gonna do this and so a lot of googling happened a lot of brainstorming and I finally came up with this bad boy here this is called a bulkhead fitting I found a YouTube video online talking about how to put a freaking outlet into a big old plastic tank and the guy used something called a bulkhead fitting. So I searched it. I found it on wish.com. It was like, I don't know, like five bucks maybe. I don't know how much it was. But it cost more shipping, obviously. But I got it. I got my bulkhead fitting here. This part here. You got these two these two uh, rubber seals here. What you're going to do is you're going to put a hole. Let me see here. I'm going to put a hole right here. About the diameter of this threaded part here. And then this thing here screws and we're gonna squeeze these two seals together sandwiched around stuff here and it's gonna be a good time and then I'm gonna get this female let me see if it's, this is a half inch thread female this is gonna be poking out and 
that is going to hook up into here. Only this is also female. So we need a nipple. Nipple is going to go in between here and here. And it's going to be a good time. It's going to hook up to this. Then on the other side, on the other side here, we're going to need another nipple. This is a this is a hose nipple. There's many kinds of nipples going on here. It's, it's got cocks. We got nipples. Uh, we're having a, we're having a freaking party here. So that's going to go into here. Let me just see if I can get there. You can't see that. Yeah, there we go. Camera angle. It's going to go into here. Hose is going to jam onto here. Got a hose clamp. We got Teflon thread tape. Going to seal it all up good. And this bad boy is the driller. It looks like the it looks like a butt plug from hell. I'm not gonna lie, but this is what we're gonna put in here, make our hole. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that stuff, and then I'm gonna show you the results, and uh, hopefully things will turn out fairly well. And later on, we'll we'll talk more about this guy, about the electrical aspects of this bad boy. And how we're gonna power them and everything, but that's a that's a story for another for another video for another cut. Right now we're just working on the wetware. We're working on the hardware, the piping. We're gonna lay some pipe, as they say. So I'll be back later on with uh, with an update on that. All right. So this thing is a little more loud than I was expecting. It makes a weird noise when you're drilling, but we're getting we're getting pretty close here. A little, I think we need a little bit more and we'll be able to fit this bad boy in here. The dream is to get it just big enough so that this thing doesn't slide in. You have to thread it in. That would be the dream. But, you know, even if it doesn't work that way, we got we got plenty of uh, plenty of gasket here to, to hold us over. So we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Take a look at this. All right, so got the hole here. I'm going to put in... My, uh, what do you call this thing? I forget what it's called. And we're gonna screw, screw. It's going in there, boys. It's fit, it's tight, 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 tight. So, with this, and then on the other side, I think, I think it's going in. I can't really tell, one second. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's going in there, boys. That's going in there, bae. All right, beautiful. So now I'm gonna put on the other side. I guess I should probably also put some thread tape on it after I've threaded it through this hole. Put some thread tape on here. Then I'll thread on the other part, the flange. And uh, then we'll see. We'll put we'll put the uh, we'll put the nipple on. We'll put on the. Uh, uh, what is the thing called? The servo solenoid valve. That's what it's called. And uh, we'll see how we like it. All right, so here's the finished product. Mostly finished anyways. Uh, I decided not to put the uh, the thread tape on just yet because I might want to play around with it a little bit more. So it'd probably be more annoying to unscrew all this stuff once it's got the thread tape on it. So we'll leave it uh, untaped for now, and we'll, we'll tape it up in the final. I don't think I need to thread tape this internal flange here. It doesn't seem like it makes much sense with the uh, with the gasket there. But uh, we'll definitely put uh, thread tape on all these threads here. But yeah, I've got this thing like this. Um, you'll notice it's kind of got a, a weird angle coming off of it here. I don't want this solenoid valve to be hanging off of here. I don't want it to be torquing this um you know this opening here because it'll probably loosen it and structural integrity of the plastic tank is a little because things like it's really heavy so um i put it at this angle here so that the the weight of the solenoid and and the valve itself will be supported by uh you know by what whatever is under whatever supporting this tank instead of all that weight being supported by a torque on this uh, this small thing here that would not be cool but yeah there you have it um, we're now just we're waiting for a hose and we'll be we'll be ready to go with this stuff but uh, now I think I'm gonna work on the on the power circuit for this solenoid